Hey there, guys. My name is Will. Uh, my friends here at work call me Bubba Crash. Uh, hey, I've been in the trucking business now for about a week, and uh, I got hopefully some new perspectives or some fresh perspectives, uh, maybe some old problems that, that uh, different truckers have had. And so one of the problems that I had was I got this old truck. Well, it's not old. It's about four years old. It's a Volvo. And one of the problems that I've had with it uh, was the the curtains. Uh, somebody abused the curtains. Let me show them to you. All right, these are my curtains here. You can see that there is not much holding it on. Just one or two clips on this side and one or two clips on this side. Okay, and they, uh, just to show you what it is, it actually holds these things in. It is these little clips right here, and the way these work is that it has a little uh, has a little knob that's inside that track, and has a little stick that looks well. Here's one that's outside of it. Kind of looks like that, and it has two little pinholes in it. And apparently, whenever they sewed this curtain together, they went through those pinholes with. Uh, let's see if I can just show the pinholes a little bit better. They went through those pinholes. Uh, with the thread and that's what holds this curtain to these clips and these clips to that track and then you also have situations like this one right here where the uh, the head of the uh, of the clip has, has come off I think I've come up with a solution to, to fix this uh, let's see let's see what we have all right so I went to the dollar store and I got this for a dollar, well it was Dollar Tree, I guess it was what you would call it. I imagine the most, most dollar stores would have something similar to this. So wire set. Okay, so we're going to use this wire set and I also went to Walmart. And I got an assortment of buttons. I think that that was like two dollars and something cents. So hopefully this will be a nice, easy, clean, cheap fix for you. So what the buttons are going to be for is let me show you one of these clips this is one of the clips right here if you look at the very top of the clip there's that little circular thing right there okay and that circular thing is what actually keeps it inside the track so what I'm hoping that we can do is take that wire and put it through one of the buttons and then take the wire and put it through another button I'm gonna put a button inside here and then hopefully the wire can actually be strong enough to puncture this uh, this plastic curtain because uh, uh, and then uh, hopefully it should hold it in place well enough to keep it up in the truck the way that it should be all right so here's what we're gonna do here this is one of the clips here that has broken off completely broken off so the first thing that I'm going to do is you well you can do one or two different things either you can go through and you can take off the stitching here okay and take that out now I prefer to leave the stitching in place I think it's a good thing it'll hold this together a little bit better so what I'm going to do to kind of get this little part that's hanging out here out of the way I'm going to push it out about as far as I can kind of like that and I have a pair of side cutters and I'm just going to clip off anything extra. I clip it off nice and even there just to get it out of the way. And it's probably quicker that way too. Okay. Uh, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take one of your good size buttons and right there in that hole, the upper part of the hole, and you're going to slide that into place. So that's like right there. You can see a little bit of it sticking out there. Okay. That's the back side. That's the front side. And then I'm going to take about, oh, I don't know, about six inches or so of this wire. And I'm going to take uh, my some needle nose pliers here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to poke it out to the end of the needle nose pliers. 
Uh, maybe about that much or so. Okay, just so that a little bit of it's sticking out. And I'm going to take where this button was, not on the side with the hole, and I'm going to go around to the other side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a hole in the button. I found it and it went in. So I'm going to keep on pushing it through. until it comes out the other side okay so it is through both sides of your fabric okay and now just so that I don't pull this out I'm just going to bend that over kind of like that okay and I'm going to take the other end of this wire and I'm also going to put it out the end of my needle nose pliers right there. Okay. And I'm going to try to find the other the other side to this hole. Just kind of feeling around wherever it feels. Sometimes it can be quite difficult to find. I made it go through there. Okay, and sounds like we pushed it out the other side. Okay, so whenever you get done, you're going to have a loop on one side, and you're going to have your two ends, and I'm just going to grab pull these two ends, we're going to pull it out, just so that all it's on one side, just a little bit of a loop. Okay, and you have two wires sticking up. Uh, the next thing is we're going to take, now this particular button, I've already checked it with uh, the channel length to make sure that it isn't too big and isn't too small and that it slides through the channel nice and easily. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of twist this around. I'm going to continue to twist this. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to continue to twist that until it is just about even with the top of my fabric. Okay, the plastic or fabric or whatever you want to call it. Okay, if you have, if you twist this too many times before you put on your button, then you're going to have a gap between the top of your of your curtain uh, and it could be letting in light whenever you don't want it to be there okay uh, and then you're going to take your your button put it through two different holes probably right across from each other just like that and now you're going to take and start twisting the top of this Just like so. And I'm actually going to go a little bit of a step further. Take my needle nose and make this nice and tight. I don't recommend you doing that too many times. Because uh, you could actually twist it and break it. And then you have to use a new piece of wire. Okay. I mean it's cheap but it's just frustrating to get in and out. You don't have to use a new one in the middle. Now I'm going to take. Yeah, I'm going to use these pliers because they cut so much better. I'm just going to clip off the excess. And to where I just have just a little bit of the, the wire showing through the top. And then I'm going to try to actually fold down that extra wire. Okay, just so that they're... Um, it doesn't stick out any further past the button than the edge. You don't want it to get in the way of your track. Okay. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now you have something. Well, I mean, now you have something that can go along through the track. So 
if you repeat this process um, for all of your missing clips, uh, then you should get to a point to where you can uh, put it back in your track. And, uh, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. So I'm going to repeat this process for all of my missing clips. And uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm sure some of you are wondering how we took the curtain down in the first place. Now right in the middle of your track is this piece right here. You just kind of grab that and it just pops right off. And then we're going to take our curtain and you slide it in this channel going all the way around. Okay, so after you put your curtain back up, uh, put your buttons through your, your slot there and, and put that little uh, piece back into place. And if you were to decide to Velcro your two curtains together, which I'm not right now because I wanted to give a little bit of light to shoot this video with, uh, that's your finished product. It can remain completely concealed. And thank you for being concealed. Close the curtains whenever you should. So... So hopefully this video will help a few of you guys out. Uh, if you have that curtain problem and it shouldn't cost you too much to, to get it taken care of. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And uh, any other hacks or tricks or stuff that I make up or, or, or find along the way, uh, I'll let you know. I've already thought of a few videos for the future. So uh, keep in touch, like, and subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Bye.